I'm going to say the blessing before I speak in Aramaic because Jesus spoke that language and we speak that language in Iraq. So Shemid Baba, Brona, Rocha, Kosha, Ha'alaha, Amin. Please be seated. Amen. Well, it's lovely being with you all, and I like this church because it's not boring. <laughs> you know, there's nothing worse than boring church, and especially when you preach three times in the morning. I'm not going to stay afterwards, Rector. Will you pray for me? <laughs> You know, we have had Christianity Iraq for a long time. First of all, our people became the followers of the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. They became Jewish. That was after we had an evangelist come one day. And the evangelist came by submarine to Nineveh. His name was Jonah. And to this day, until six weeks ago, Nineveh followed the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We have six Jews left in Iraq, and we look after them with the Christians or the people of Nineveh that they were all removed from their homeland by this group, the Islamic State and now they're living on the streets in churches and school halls and we are trying to protect them and provide them with food and clothing and in that passage from Romans, we read Romans 8, 17. Unless we share in the suffering of Christ, we cannot share in the glory of Christ. We have shared in the suffering of Christ, but we have also shared in the glory of Christ. We start every service with the words Allahumma Anna The Lord is here and everybody responds His Spirit is with us. Just like a communion because the Lord is here and his spirit is with us. And he has never left us, even in our times of great trial. We give thanks to God for the, his presence, for his love, and for the fact that we know that we have people like you who stand with us not just in this crisis, but even beforehand. And for that I say, thank you. We love you. What our people have been through in the last few weeks can really not be understood or not be sad. Don't I know you? Yes, you do. <laughs> Lovely to see you. <laughs> it's very off-putting when people you know walk in in the middle of your sermon. <laughs> You're supposed to say,
say to them, why are you late? <laughs> but I won't say that. <laughs> Come see me afterwards. <laughs> and so, we have had people killed. We've had our people massacred. We have had our children killed. I cannot tell you things which have happened because I will cry. To see your children killed is the most terrible thing. I think of the children who were asked recently, actually yesterday, do you still love Jesus? Have you become Muslims yet? And the children said, no, we haven't become Muslims because we love Jesus and we will always love Jesus. So they told them, if you don't turn to Muhammad, we're going to kill your parents. So in front of them, they chopped the heads of their parents off because they would not deny their love for Jesus. This is the extent of the suffering your brothers and your sisters in a while. Thank you for not leaving us. Please keep standing with us. We need your prayers. We need your support. People say, how can we pray? I say there are four P's you can pray for. We need protection, we need provision so we can provide for our people. We need perseverance to keep close to Jesus. And finally, we need peace. Protection, provision, perseverance and peace. All of us need that and God promises to give us that. We have seen such remarkable things, the way God has healed people, how the dead have even been raised, how the needs of the poor have been provided, and how love has kept us going. Love, love, and love. Love changes even the anger and bitterness and the terrors. People say, what can we do for them? I say, it's simple. Invite them in give them a meal. When we meet, we eat. And food is always a good way of working for protection and working for provision and working for personal and changing the hearts of individuals. How can we meet with those who hate us. It's very interesting when we meet the people who don't like us. And I say to them, would you like to come for dinner? And in Iraq, if somebody invites you for dinner, you go. Even if you don't want to, 
And that is a sign of the love of Jesus. He says, love your enemy. Forgive your enemy. And then we see our enemy is changed. Will you pray? There is four peace with us. Who remembers them? Good, some of you do. So we need protection, provision, perseverance, and peace. Go for it. Bye.